Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today with the final walk through my sketchbook, Inktober 2017. As you can see, we've got my ELO sketchbook. I showed you at the beginning this sketchbook. You can buy it on Amazon. I wrote out all the prompts on here, and here was day one. So we got the flash. Good old Flash, Grant Gustin, haha, uh -huh, got his name. Had to draw the Flash because he's the only one that matters. Grant, Grant, Grant. And then we've got Puppy and Branch from Trolls. We've got Snow White and the Poison Apple. We've got Moana and the Heart of Defeaty. And then we've got Mac, Blue and Wilt from Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends. We've got Mr. Harry Potter from the Chamber of Seekers because this is Fox and the Sword of Gryffindor. And this was just for fun. This is Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service by Studio Ghibli. And then we have Mina from Sing. Then we have Cook Hook. I almost said Cook. Hook for a crooked villain that he is. Hook, Hook. And we got Mr. Donald throwing an absolute fit. And we got some of that pearlescent. Nice and shiny. And then I just went ahead and I was testing out my new pearlescent inks. And I made this weird creature. We've got Shrek. And Sonic, who I almost doodled, but I didn't. Coraline. And then we've got Cinderella. And she's done in pearlescent too. So you can see that she's extremely shiny. And then we've got Kylo Ren. Then for the word teeming, I went ahead and I did Spirited Away when Chihiro was surrounded by the sprites that were in the boiler room. So I, lo I really love this one. And plus it's shiny. And then we have Mr. Newt Skimander with the Niffler for, uh, I just totally skipped this day and I think the prompt was juicy so I went ahead and skipped it and I, no this one was fierce, yes this one was fierce, yeah because I skipped two days. <laughs> so I skipped this one and I made Newt Scamander and the Niffler because they're my favorite and there wasn't really a prompt for them in here that I could fit them in so I was just like hmm I gotta fit Newt in here somewhere because I love him and he's adorable and I love him and he's adorable <laughs> and then we have this was for mystery and so this is actually an image that I found online uh, like on Google images so it was it's Mabel and Dipper and it's on a Polaroid picture and this was for graceful and it's from the movie leap right and then this was <laughs> that and Baymax my favorite marshmallow other than my dog and so I did him dressed up in a little cute witch costume and this was for dirty uh, no filthy filthy and so I drew Lou from Pixar short lost and found or it's Lou that's that's the name of it but his name is Lou and it's lost and found box and so I thought of germs and this was a sketchbox video. So I've got a witch and Dracula on a date, or a vampire. It doesn't have to be Dracula, but I thought a witch and a, and a vampire on a date with some pumpkin spices. See, look at the pumpkin thing. So they're so cute. And then this was for my birthday, and this one's really shiny too. And Wally was for deep, so I thought a deep galaxy, and this is really shiny too with my pearlescent inks. And this was for furious, so we all know don't touch the rose. And this was just a doodle that I wanted to do, just because I wanted to draw Rapunzel, because I hadn't drawn her this year in Inktober. And this was actually a car doodle, so I was doodling this in the car. And then this was for Juicy, so I interpreted Juicy as Juicy Gossip, so I thought Secret, so then I did redid like my uh, 10 minute, uh, 5 minute, 1 minute challenge where I drew Alice and Hatter and Alice telling him the secret at the Mad Tea Party. 
And then this day was for blind and it's really special to my heart because I love Smiley, the blind therapy dog. He actually passed away this month and it was really sad to me because he was my favorite internet famous dog. And this is where I started going off on my own and I started to do Inktober, my favorite Halloween characters, and then I kept doing Jake Parker's prompt list. So this day was actually Ship. I'll make this darker for you to see it. This was Ship, and so I did my favorite ship, which happens to be Nick and Judy, other than Jelsa and Merida and um, Hiccup from whatchamacallit, from How to Train Your, Your Dragon. I ship all of those. And here is my first, like, this was number six of my favorite Halloween couple. So I did Jack, Jack and Sally. Um, this was done entirely on my own. And I actually sang in this video. So if you want to hear me sing Sally's song, then go check out that video. And then here is my number five of favorite Halloween characters. And it was Emily and Victor from Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. And then Jake Parker's prompt again, which was Squeak. So I drew my favorite squeaky character, which happens to be Ratatouille. Well, it's actually Remy, but still. So it's Remy from Ratatouille. He's so cute. And then here comes my number three favorite Halloween characters. Wait, I did four. No, no. This is number four of my favorite Halloween characters, which happens to be the cat, the kids from Stranger Things. So you have Elle, Dustin, Mike, Lucas, and Will. So here the other, they're so cute, and the season was so good. I binge watched it in one day. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't go to bed till like two or three a.m. Uh, nope, nope. Okay, so this was Jake Parker again. This was fall, and so I did this cute little Halloween still from Lilo and Stitch. So we got Mr. Dracula and Lilo is adorable little witch. And then another one of my, I, I drew her again. <laughs> So I didn't know that I was going to do this. So my another ho favorite Halloween character of mine was Coraline. So we got Coraline and the cat. He didn't have a name, did he? And then we're back to Jake Parker's pr uh, prompt, which was United for this day. And so I did Periwinkle and Tinkerbell because they reunited as sisters in the movie of The Secret of the Wings because they reunited and they're like, oh my gosh, you're my sister. Ah, it's wonderful. <laughs> and then here is my Scrawler Box doodle. From, I combined two boxes together. I did September's box and October's box. So here is good old scrawler box and my haunted mansion alien ship under disguise. Unfinished Jack. I was trying to do Jake Parker's prompt list about being lost and I, oh, lost, found. And I never finished this. The Sanderson sisters, my fee favorite Halloween characters. And then the last Inktober doodle happens to be the Hatbox Ghost and Constance from the Haunted Mansion. These two are my all time favorite um, Halloween characters. So these, like, three. And these two are my favorite Halloween characters and I posted them on the same day because I couldn't pick. I love the Sanderson sisters and I love the Hatbox Ghost and Constance even though they're not considered uh, Halloween characters, they're just ghosts. So I picked them and I was showing one of my students how to draw a shirt. <laughs> and here, funny story, this is Elle and Mike but Mike doesn't look like a kid. Elle does. Elle kind of looks like a kid, but Mike doesn't look anything like a kid, so I started freaking out and I was trying to figure out how can I draw Mike from Stranger Things more to look like a kid. Three pages left in this book, so there you go. There's all of my Inktober doodles. If you participated in Inktober with me, congratulations. You finished strong. Great, that's just awesome that you finished. If you haven't done Inktober, but you only participated in a couple of days, that's okay. There's always next year, cause life gets a little crazy. So I encourage you guys, if you ever see a drawing challenge, participate. Because it gets your creative juices flowing and it's good for you. It's a healthy practice for artists like you and me. Try to do Inktober. If not, it's okay. There's always another year after that. But if you did, do Inktober, congratulations, high five.
<laughs> High five, you're awesome. So happy we all finished together. And yes, thank you guys so much for enduring all these videos with me. And thank you Jake Parker, who is a brilliant genius to start this whole thing. And thank you to everyone who tagged me in your art along the month. I love seeing your art. I always encourage you to tag me in your art on Instagram because that's the best way to show me your art. But yes, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful November and Christmas is next. Who am I kidding? I'm already in the Christmas mood. I'll see you guys later. Bye.